Dimitri, tell me about your history with kites. Well, I studied uh, flying at the Oxford Training School back in 1970. Right. And uh, we had to buy old cars. We couldn't afford new cars then. Okay. So buying old cars, we had to maintain them. Yeah. In the school, we had premises, a proper garage. Before that, I was a ground engineer for TWA, right. American Airline. Okay. And I had some experience in working on engines, which of course uh, was uh, multiplied this experience with the old cars we got in Oxford. Okay, so you got to learn an awful lot about engines. But... Yeah, yes, well, and especially old cars. Right. And so when I came back to Greece, in 1971, I joined the Antique Car Club of Greece. Okay. I got my first vintage car right. from my instructor in Oxford. And what was that? That was a 1935 uh, Rolls Royce 2025 okay. uh, Coupe, which I slowly started restoring. Right. And my collection got bigger and bigger. And you are now president of. Of Philpa, the Antique Car Club of Greece, which is the oldest car, but the biggest club in Greece. Right. And uh, the Hellenic Association, which is a big association under its umbrella. We've got about 20 cars starting from the northern part of Greece right. till the other of Crete. And we are the FIVA, which is the International Federation of Vintage Cars, as a representative in Greece. We are the ANF of uh, FIVA. And what do you do as president? Well, as president, well, well, to start with, I have a board of directors. Right, okay. And we meet every week, mm -hmm. and we decide on the economical policy, and how to organize better rallies, and more economical for our right. members, uh, how to communicate with our friends abroad. We participate in the General Assembly of uh, FIVA. The next one is in... Uh, would uh, Bucharest uh, the beginning of October. Okay. We have to go and attend and discuss the problems worldwide of the uh, vintage and classic cars or the historical cars. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting, very very interesting. And what are the challenges for the associations? Challenges to grow. Yeah. To attract more young people. Young people are not very interested in vintage cars right. because they never had a vintage car in their hands, but they're interested in modern cars, let's say classic cars, which are historical cars, and historical cars are car which is older than 30 years. So we have a lot of members with uh, relatively newer cars, which are historical, mm -hmm. and we hope that we're going to be our successors. Yes. So you, you met the Vice Chancellor? In Athens. Yes. In Athens. And uh, uh, I realized this person had a vision for this university, mm -hmm. very enthusiastic on, about cars and racing cars yeah. and technology so concerning these cars. So I kept in the back of my mind that since my son was very interested in that field, it was a great opportunity to study in Bolton. That's why we're here. And um, George is starting today, isn't he? Yes, he in has the enrollment today. Yeah. And uh, next week, uh, He's going to be doing what he wanted all his life to do. Brilliant. Yes. And which course is he doing? He's doing motorsport technology. Right. Right. So you'll have plenty more visits back to Cape Town. Oh yes. It's very easy. It's very easy because we have a direct flight from Athens to Manchester. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's four hours flight. And it's very easy to reach uh, Bolton. Yeah. No time at all. No time. That's marvellous. Um, I think that's all my questions. Is there anything else you think I might have missed? No, what I want to say is that um, I feel very safe that my son is in Bolton. Right. The environment is fantastic. The premises, as uh, we all can see, are very advanced. Uh, I have, I have, the people I have met are extremely friendly, extremely helpful. I can pick up the phone and call them anytime they gave me this permission. Yeah, absolutely. So I feel safe that my son is in very capable hands. And I would uh, pass the good word around in Greece that uh, 
since the president of a major club in Greece decided to send his son in Bolton to do this, I would encourage other members to look it up. And maybe we'll have more entrants from Greece. Because this is a great opportunity for people who are interested in this uh, hobby to do it professionally. Thank you.